Hello and welcome to this update video 2015. The reason why I wanted to make this update video is, uh, yeah, it's been a while since I have uploaded my last uh, review. The last review that I uploaded was about the GameX Color handheld, the Famiclone, hand, uh, Famiclone handheld system. And uh, yeah, I've uploaded this video about uh, over one month ago. Today is uh, Sunday the 11th of January and normally around this time uh, my, my circles in which I upload my reviews uh, is about one month, one month and one, uh, one week sometimes. Uh, and normally at this time I yeah, would have uploaded uh, another review, but in the end, uh, yeah, it's not gonna happen, or at least not right now. I'm At this point I'm working on a new review, and it's going to be a PC uh, video game review. But I'm not gonna tell you right now what it is. Uh, hopefully I'm finished with this project uh, at the end of January and hopefully I uploaded this review at the end of January. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, yeah, like I said, I don't really want to spoil you and, and tell you what game it will be, but I'm gonna show you now a quick sneak peek uh, of the game that I'm gonna review. Okay, now that everyone knows what game I'm gonna review, uh, we can continue. Uh, <laughs> yeah, update for 2015. Now, one thing that I wanted to talk about, or better let's say that I wanna do in 2015 is I wanna make more video game reviews because I looked at all the videos that I uploaded in 2014 and I've noticed that I only made uh, two video game reviews, the, I made a video game review of the Commodore 64 game Blue Max and of the Amiga game Metal Masters and the rest were uh, yeah, console reviews slash system reviews. Then uh, I made this big project about the, the cleaning agents that I use, how to clean uh, consoles, controllers and all that stuff, then the de-yellowing on the Commodore Amiga and so on and so on. And yeah, this was something that I noticed and that I thought that I want to change this year in 2015, so I want to make more or I want to focus more on video game reviews this year. Then uh, yeah, one other thing that I really want to do, in uh, at least in this year, is that I wanna have a little bit more fun with my reviews and what I mean is that for instance uh, a long time ago I made a review of the uh, Rebel Salt 1 and 2 games and in those reviews I dressed up like, uh, like a pilot from the Rebel Alliance and also, I made a review a long time ago of the uh, Xbox game Pirates of the Caribbean and before I made this review I thought hey it would be cool because I have a Captain Jack Sparrow um, yeah, costume that I'm gonna dress up as Captain Jack Sparrow and maybe I'm gonna do the review in this costume and maybe try to do an impression or uh, make some kind of a um, special intro f for this uh, review or whatever, just have a little bit more fun with those reviews. But in the end I chickened out <laughs> and also uh, yeah, I thought I already spent so much time on writing this review that uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave this idea and don't make this review with the costume so I recorded it without the costume made just a regular review but every time that I look at this video I thought like ah, why didn't I yeah um, yeah played a little bit around with this video so this year if it's um, if it fits or uh, if it's appropriate appropriate to the game 
then I want to try to uh, have a little bit more fun if I have a costume for this uh, game or if it's a game based on a movie or whatever, then I, I'm gonna make a little bit more with with those reviews but I'm not gonna make it with any uh, with with every review or whatever but with some I might wanna try to have a little bit more fun and do some special effects or whatever so this is also one thing that I wanna do in 2015 um yeah what else what else uh, actually can't really think of something else that I wanted to make into yeah one thing in 2014 uh, yeah I wasn't able to do a Halloween episode this is also one thing that I really wanted to make uh, this year in 2015 that I really try this time to uh, don't forget or that I wanna calculate some extra time for a Halloween episode because last year I didn't make one because uh, yeah, it took me a longer time for the project that that happened before, and then I tried to to write the re the, the review for the Halloween episode, and in the end I noticed I, it would take me too too much time, and I wouldn't match the date, uh, and yeah, in the end I've decided no, I'm gonna um, leave it or I'm gonna skip it in two forms in 2014 sorry uh, because I don't really want to upload a Halloween episode let's say one week after Halloween this is uh, yeah this is something that I don't want to make um, because it's for me it's important that if you make a Halloween episode of uh, something else like a Christmas episode that you upload them before or on the exact date and not afterwards because then it's it also feels like forced and this is something that I don't want to do okay uh, this is all that I can think that I want to do in 2015 um, yeah one if I take a look back on 2014 2014 was mm, not really a very good year uh, for my private life let's say and also for uh, you know work and everything but uh, this is also something that I don't want to really share with everyone on YouTube or whatever in terms of YouTube and in terms of my video game collection it was actually a pretty good year and um, yeah also uh, Christmas was pretty cool this year all the adults uh, we actually said that we want to keep it low or better say uh, we don't wanna yeah spend too much money on the gifts from one adult to the other for the kids of course for um, let's say for my uh, niece and nephew uh, and nephews um, of course we uh, yeah we made it big because uh, Christmas is very special to kids and this is also the one thing that nobody really wants to change and it was also great this year to to see that the big eyes of the kids when they get the presents and yeah, it's, it's really one of the, f the few things that that uh, are, at least for me are very satisfying if if you buy for the kids uh, presents and then you see their big eyes and their reactions when they open the, the presents this is really cool and this is something that I appreciate really as an adult uh, because as a child I was on the other side I was the one with the big eyes blah. <laughs> so this was really cool but in the end like I said uh, between all the adults we said we don't want to spend too much money uh, everybody got of course gifts and everything but not too expensive or whatever and I actually wanted to uh, throw also some video game related stuff in this video of course so I'm gonna show you two gifts that I got slash I and my fiance got which are video game related one thing that we got was The Walking Dead season 2 on the PlayStation 3 pretty cool we played the first season this was a very amazing game very cool story amazing atmosphere and everything and now we have the season 2 we also we already played through it also very cool amazing atmosphere and everything 
But I actually preferred, uh, or I actually liked the first season better, mainly because of the um, the main character, uh, Lee, awesome uh, character, and yeah, also the atmosphere. I liked the atmosphere a little more in um, season one than in season two. But in the end, it's also pretty cool game, and we had a lot of fun playing this one. And the other thing that I got was I finally got one of those. This is a USB floppy um, floppy drive, and the main reason why I always wanted that and why I finally now have one of these is because of my old PC DOS games. Uh, that if I want to play an old PC DOS game on my current computer, it's not really new or anything. It's a couple years old. But if I want to play it on DOSBox or uh, I want to play it slash record it for video game review, then it's a lot more easier with a floppy disk drive. Uh, normally I tried to find the games online or I uh, also have two uh, notebooks or excellent uh, laptops, sorry, uh, which also have a floppy uh, disk drive and they also have USB drives so I can get the data from the disk onto a USB, uh, USB stick and then onto my other computer but this is it's, it's a lot easier to use so it's actually pretty cool that I finally got one of those floppy disk drives uh, with a USB. Okay, and uh, some other things that I wanted to show you, some treasures from 2014 that I also wanted to show you are from uh, November. In November 2014 there was the sixth, uh, yeah, how would you call it uh, in English? Because the, the German name was the sixth Retro Börse für klassische Videospiele in Wien, which basically translated means um, retro uh, ret retro exchange for classic video games in Vienna. But exchange is the wrong word because exchange means normally in the English language with uh, stocks and uh, yeah, but I guess you can call it a retro video game flea market but more with eBay prices. So it's not really a retro video game convention because the, there were only sellers and there were no panels or, or uh, companies or whatever. So I'm actually not sure how you would actually call it. So in the end, there were a lot of people, some people from stores, they sold old video games, some um, collectors sold some stuff of their collections and the prices were yeah, some people had really cheap prices, like yeah, like on like you would find on flea markets, but not that much. And a lot of people had eBay prices. Some of those prices were a little bit higher, some were a little bit lower. And this uh, in 2014, this was the sixth time. Or uh, yeah, this was the sixth uh, yeah retro flea market, whatever, and. Uh, in 2013, I also, uh, I also was at the fifth, of course, the fifth uh, retro flea market. And before that, they uh, they were at a different location. And th the first three times that this uh, event happened, I didn't heard about it. Then the fourth time, I heard about it shortly before it happened. But yeah, uh, it. It's it's a, it's not around the corner. Let's uh, let's call it like that. So this, it was on a different location. It was more or less on the other side of town. So in the end, I, I said maybe I go there, and then I forgot about it. And when the fifth happened, uh, then uh, uh, one of my viewers contacted me and asked me, "Hey, there's going to be this uh, retro flea market or whatever you want to call it right now," and uh, he said are you also going and i was like huh, where when why me or <laughs> whatever and uh then i looked it up and i saw that it's uh the, the fifth one would happen at a different location this is pretty near to my home so i decided yeah of course i'm gonna go and when i went to the fifth one in 2013 i had some high expectations 
high expectations. Okay, sorry. Uh, and I wanted to try to find some Game and Watch games from Nintendo, some handheld uh, electronic handheld games. And I actually found a couple of those at this uh, event. And uh, yeah, prices were good, not really cheap, but they were uh, yeah in the green area, let's call it like that. And also, I also got in 2013 a couple of uh, Amiga games. And yeah, then this year, or let's say last year in 2014, there was the sixth um, retro flea market. And this time, I, when I went to this event, I didn't have yeah expectations to get uh, of, of stuff that I really wanted to get. Uh, the only thing that I hoped I would find was uh, Amiga games because it's getting harder and harder to find Amiga games and the, also the prices of Amiga games they really they get also more and more expensive so this this was one thing that I wanted to look for and the other thing that I wanted to look for was for Graphics 16 and PC Engine games and yeah I didn't got any Amiga games. I, I've seen a couple of them but nothing that I really wanted or that I already had. But in the end I was able to find some Graphics 16 games which uh, was very surprising to me. And two of my treasures were those two. Graphics 16 games. Both are um, sports games. I don't really collect sports games uh, mainly but in the end yeah Graphics 16 games, cool, and also they are complete with uh, their cardboard boxes also inside. They are almost mint and I got each one for 10 euros, which is actually a steal. So this was pretty cool. Then one other game, which, uh, yeah, it wasn't really cheap. This one right here, Ace of Faces for the Sega Master System. This is one game that I, um, I'm looking for. A long time it's not hard to find it's not rare and it's also not uh, expensive or let's say not super expensive or anything but yeah I don't really uh, you don't really find that much master system games uh, also nowadays and actually I don't really drive around in to secondhand stores or flea markets because uh, yeah most of the times you don't find really good stuff in there or at flea markets but anyways so this was one thing that i wanted to have for a long time uh it's it's kind of like a, a flight simulator a world war ii flight simulator and i had this game for the um for the commodore 64 a long time ago in my childhood a pretty awesome game and when I heard this uh, game was also released on the Sega Master System and I started collecting for the Sega Master System, then this was one game that I always wanted to have. And I I paid 15 euros. It's complete with manual and everything in the box. Nice condition. And uh, yeah, this game, if you look on eBay, you can find it for 5 to let's say 30, sometimes 40 or 50 euros. But yeah those are crazy prices actually but for 30 euros uh, yeah you get a, a version in mint condition and also for five or euros you can find this game complete but in the end if i would buy it for five euros i also would have uh, to spend 10 euros on shipping so in the end 15 euros at this event uh, i thought hey why not so i have also this right now in my collection then some other cool things that I found was um, at one seller he had a couple of Amiga games. Sorry, but like I already uh, said, uh, he had some stuff that I al already had or that I don't really need. But he had some PC stuff. And one game that I bought from him was this one, Dungeon Keeper 2. I have the first one and actually not long time ago I, I played the first one again and I've beat the game and yeah when I when I saw this at his table I thought yeah what the hell let's ask him for his price and he said 15 euros it's complete it's in, a, in very nice condition so yeah I, I had to buy it now I haven't played it right now or not yet 
And uh, one, cool, one interesting thing about this game is that the reviews weren't that great back in the days of uh, Dungeon Keeper 2. Dungeon Keeper 1 was a hit and when they released this game, uh, yeah, the critics said that uh, it's not a very good sequel because only the graphics were enhanced and they only added a couple of, um, yeah, a couple of stuff to the game. But it, it sh it's not a good sequel, something like that. And I had uh, I didn't had this back then, but a friend of mine had it, and he played through this game. And uh, what I remembered from back in the days, he he really liked it back in the days. And what's now interesting for me is that uh, the critics were pretty harsh to this sequel because they said yeah only the graphics were enhanced I guess also the, the music was enhanced and uh, some new stuff was added but it wasn't enough and this is the thing that is kind of interesting for me because most of the times if you have a very good game a killer game a, a hit title or whatever and so many people would say, hey, I want to really see a sequel, but please don't change too much. Make make the game with better graphics and uh, yeah, add a little bit of stuff to it and we would be happy. And this is one of the few times where it actually happened. And yeah, the people were actually mad that they went this way. But in the end, I haven't played it. So maybe there are some other bugs in this game or it's, it's not really that great, I don't know, but I really wanted to have it from my collection. And he also had another, an old PC classic that I always, also always wanted to have, but uh, yeah, for the most part I, I forgot when I went on eBay or whatever to, to look for it. Uh, this one right here, the original Wolfenstein 3D. It's not in the greatest condition, I mean, yeah, this... Uh, it looks like someone was already see sitting on this box, but in the end, it's uh, yeah, it's not really a surprise. I mean, there's not much in here. I mean, you have the manual and you have the discs and a flyer, and about 95% of air, and the 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 cardboard is also not really strong. So it's uh, it's no wonder that the those uh, boxes don't last that well uh, over a long period of time but in the end I was able to buy this for 15 euros which I later found out that this was really a steal because afterwards I looked it up on eBay what people are paying actually for a Wolfenstein 3D and I was kind of shocked how yeah how expensive this game actually is so the, in the end pretty good deal in my case and two other treasures that I found where I knew that they were a little bit more expensive and I was super glad that I got them for those prices. So those were really steals for me. Two TurboGrafx-16 games. First one is this one, Kadesh. And yeah, it's complete and also game inside, pretty good condition. And I've paid... 26 euros if I remember correctly for this one and yeah Especially the graphic 16 version of this game uh, I can't really tell you how much it's actually worth, but the, the prices are m most of the times a lot higher than 26 euros and the other game This this was actually the the gem that I found uh, because this one right here, one of the sellers had a big box with PC Engine games and a couple of TurboGrafx-16 games. And at, at the first look, you uh, would not really recognize that there are actually some TurboGrafx-16 games. And uh, yeah, it I actually had to look twice to, to find Kadesh, but I also had to look twice to find this one, Neutopia 2. Uh, sorry, this was <laughs> Newtopia 2 <laughs> and yeah, it's complete. Only thing that's missing is here on the side. There's normally a sticker with the name like here on Kadesh. You have here this sticker, but only the sticker is missing. It is a case from or a casing, a TurboGrafx-16 casing. You have the manual and the game and I was able to get this 
for 30 euros. And I knew that it, it costs a little bit more, at least on eBay. And after I've got home, I, I mean, I knew I, I really found the gem very cheap. But afterwards, when I looked online, I was really blown away. Uh, what a great find I made at this uh, yeah retro flea market, retro convention, whatever you want to call it. So this was really my gem of 2014 and uh, this was also the gem from this retro video game convention, video game flea market, whatever. So just thought I also um, put in some uh, pickups or treasures from 2014 and Again, I mean, a lot of you are long time viewers of my channel. This is not something that I want to uh, show off or whatever. This is just I wanted to keep you updated and show you a little bit what I got at the end of the year. Uh, a lot of other people make this uh, and yeah, so it's 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 not like, uh, hey, I, I found this very cheap, not you. Because a couple of people on YouTube make this uh, on purpose but in the end yeah it's just uh, something that I yeah wanted to share with you that also I find sometimes really uh, amazing deals and yeah basically this is almost everything that I wanted to talk about in this update video so like I said at the end of January I hope I'm ready to upload a new video game review and yeah some reasons why I could not make it earlier is um, in December it was uh, there was a lot of stress of course with with Christmas and everything and after Christmas I had a couple of days off and I thought hey now I have finally some time to work on my review but in the end yeah I I experienced some um, how we, how are you saying this uh, some writer block. Uh, I I wasn't really able to 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 write to write the script. I, every time I started, then I made one sentence, and then I thought about the sentence and okay, where are you going with this later on? And okay, no. <laughs> Then I started all over again, so it was pretty hard for me to actually start a new review and, and write this review. But right now I'm in the middle, let's say in the middle of this review. And yeah, it's, it's looking better right now. So uh, I guess I really can say that I, at the end of January my next review is gonna be online. Okay, now we're at the end of this update video. One thing that I, I, yeah, that I also wanted to say was I hope you had a, a great Christmas I hope you had a very uh, New Year's party or whatever and I really hope 2015 will turn out to be a better year than 2014 I, and I also hope that it will be better for you doesn't matter how awesome or um, if you also had not a great 2014 but maybe or hopefully 2015 will be better for all of us for our jobs, for our private life, for YouTube, for our video game collection, for other hobbies, um, yeah, whatever. Hopefully 2015 uh, is better than 2014. <laughs> okay, with the end of my update video, I hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe see you next time. Take care. Bye.